shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he's going to get this one all the way down to the Rams 23 yard line. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Rush coming and he's taken down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 30 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0, KC. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. That one a first down pickup of eight. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Now it's gone. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. A big play there. Goff to Cup. 49 yards. Check 31. Check 31. First and 10 at the 15 yard line. On first down, it's Gurley. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how we're going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Boy, they're down only one score. Still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. A second quarter onside kick Let's there go, that man. failed. Let's Is go. that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things, and it won't come back and hurt them later. 20! And they move this all the way down to the 9. 39 yards there, a big one. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This is taken at the three. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. Goff on first down. They'll get this with the cop complete. A big play there. Goff to cop. 47 yards. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. On first down, gone. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey, but, you know, writing down your ad lib. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. 
56 to Mike, boy. 56. Check, 56. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's what I, 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 that's And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Here's Gurley now, out of the gun. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Mike, 56, right there, right there. X3, 218, chopper. Hey, hey, check 24. Looper. 56 to Mike, 56. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Jared Goff keeping it himself from a yard out as they have now chopped this lead down to three. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. That's fielded in the end zone. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. The Chiefs take over first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now a potential fumbled snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. From the 39, Mahomes. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Mahomes now to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. On first down, it's Williams. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From the 22, Mahomes. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. Well, partner, let's put a bow on the Super Bowl for Kansas City. What a comeback win. Yet another come-from-behind victory for Patrick Mahomes and company. An absolute heartbreak for San Francisco. Didn't Madden predict Kansas City would win the game? Yes, 35-31, I believe they predicted. I felt like most of the predictions I saw had the game in the 30s. So a little bit lower scoring than we expected. But a lot of fireworks down the stretch all by Kansas City. But how about San Francisco? Had the lead in the ball, under 12 minutes to go. 
and held Kansas City to 10 points through three quarters. And somehow, they're winging their way back to San Francisco, trying to understand how they lost that game. Yeah, not only did Kansas City win it, but they end up winning it by 11 points. They didn't see that coming at all. That one good for 24 yards. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Two yards, good enough for a first. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Hey, hey, They'll try the air now with Gaul. This is caught, and he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab, and the Rams have taken the lead. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. The extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now Goff on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Maverick, Maverick. 
Here's Gold. Well, that'll be caught by Cup. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. From the gun on third down, gone. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The Rams going for it on fourth. Gone. They got him in. It's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big pick up there. 20 yards as they convert on fourth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Check, check, check. Now a first down throw. Gone. Then he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Any weapon. Let's go, defense. Our time. It's our time. Check, check, check. On first down, it's gone. And Woods has it complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 23 yards on the play. First down. First and 10 at the 14 yard line. Hey, Shell. Shell. Now it's Gurley. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Value three. Value three. Switch it, switch it, switch it, Ken. Switch it. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he takes it across for a Rams touchdown. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Great player. We're good, we're good. From the gun, here's gone. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational. You have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Back to throw. Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage. 17 on the play. Operating from the red zone now. Mahomes. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. So now an extra point doesn't help much. They'll try to go for two to make the difference a field goal, and they can lead it by three. Mahomes to throw. That's caught. And he'll get into the end zone. So now a field goal would only tie as they up their lead to three. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier shot at it. We'll see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. Escaping the pressure right. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Cooper Cup was his intended target. And it's third down. Brings up third down and ten. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. One last throw here for Gaul. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Interesting, Mahomes wants to throw it. Flushed out right. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was Patrick Mahomes leading the way. He doesn't seem to get ruffled no matter where he plays, does he? Home, on the road. If you put him in a neutral site, which he hopes one day would be the Super Bowl, he plays at a high level. We know about the big right arm, but I think it's the poise that I'm really, really admiring out of this youngster and watching him play. How about the first three games of his career in the NFL as a starter in 2018? He set a record for touchdown passes with 13. Yeah, you think back to that entrance, and he has just kept it up. Amazing what he's been able to do. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.